Next, we're going to look at a couple of distance problems, and we'll start with the problem of finding the distance from a point to a line. So, let's draw a line. Yeah. Wait, sure. So here's a line. Okay. L. And here's a point. Uh, let's call it Q. Okay. All right. So we want this distance, point to a line, right? Distance always means sort of perpendicular distance. So there's a, a distance uh, D. Should we call it D? Let's call it D. D for distance. Makes sense. I think it's called H in the book, but I'm going to call it D. All right. Very good. But, you know, how is this line given to us, right? This line is probably given by, you know, some, let's say, vector equation. You know, P naught plus T times V, say. Okay. And, and here's where maybe the, the challenge comes in, if you like. Um, that point P naught could be, it could be anywhere on the line. Let's draw it here, right? Um, so we'll, we'll call it P, right? So this vector P naught corresponds to that point P, or call it P naught if we want, just to make it clear. All right, and the vector V, well, V is in the direction of the line, so it's, let's say, here, right? Again, I don't know how long V is relative to the distance from there to there, because I don't know where that point is going to end up on the line. Okay, now I also have another vector I can construct, which is this vector here. I'll call it W. So W will be the vector from, from P naught to Q. Okay, and so now we want to figure out the distance. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. And I lost a pen cap. I don't know. I'll find it later. Oh, there it is. It's on the other side of the whiteboard, so I will have to leave this one uncapped until the end of the video. No problem. Two ways to solve the problem. One uh, is the method that's done in the book, which is to say, well, you know what? We could introduce like this angle theta here. And we could say that, hey, on the one hand, I know that this distance d I'm interested in is going to be the length of the hypotenuse, right? We got a right angled triangle here, right? Times, well, it's the opposite side, so sine theta, right? I also know that the magnitude of the cross product, V cross W, um, well, that's the magnitude of V times the magnitude of W times sine theta, right? We established that formula back in the, in the last section on the cross product. Well, here's D, all right? That's the distance that we're interested in. So to solve for the distance, I just need to divide by the magnitude of V. So the, the distance that we're interested in, it's the magnitude of V cross W divided by the magnitude of V. And if all you care about is that distance, there's a formula, plug in the numbers, you've got your answer, done. What else do you need, right? Well, the trouble with formulas is, one, I don't know, they promote memorization. Memorization doesn't really promote understanding. Um, I don't like telling people to use formulas unless, well, I mean, there, there are places where they're appropriate. But the only information we can get from that formula is the distance. And there is so much more that we could get out of this picture. In particular, maybe I want to know the location of this point R. You know, what is the point on the line it actually is as close as possible to this point Q, not on the line that we're starting with, right? Uh, well. I could figure that out if I, if I knew this vector, right? Because I know this point on the line that's given to me. Um, well, what is that P, P naught to R? 
We've seen that before. We saw that in the section on dot products. This vector going from P naught to R, it's just the projection of W onto V, the direction vector of the line. All right. So we can project W onto V. Um, okay. But then we could also notice that the distance that we're interested in, well, that's the, the magnitude of this vector going from R to Q, right? This one here. And if you think back to the stuff that we did on orthogonal decompositions, um, it's the perpendicular part here, right? We're taking this vector from this point on the line to the point that we're interested in. We're just decomposing it into the parallel and perpendicular components with respect to the direction of the line. And so we know how to find this vector. We take the vector w, p naught to q, and we subtract off the projection. All right. All right. So in other words, we, we take the vector from, from p naught to q, and we subtract the vector from p naught to r. Right? Um, notice kind of the, the RQ, right? Head minus tail, you kind of get that same sort of thing going on there. It's just that there's a, a different, reference, different reference point, this P naught here in this case, right? Um, so you can also approach the problem that way. Um, you can either use the formula if all you care about is the distance, or you can use some of the stuff that we did on projections back in the section on dot products and understand just a little bit more. Right. We'll see how that works in an example coming right up.